CataractCoach.com. Another capsule rexus runs out. This could have been prevented. Now, how do you rescue it? This is a video of MSICS, so manual small incision cataract surgery. So no phaco probe needed here. Surgeon sitting superiorly, creating a superior pyridomy with the Westcott scissors. And now let's see the incision here. There's the incision. Here's a paracentesis, looks like, to enter the AC. That's a pretty wide one. Maybe going to be using a Simcoe cannula through that. Tripan blue dye going in. And... Yeah, push the die around. Okay, I like that. Reasonable approach. Okay, all right. Let's see what's next. So the blue die is going to stay in the capsule. Now, the eye is not quite in primary. Look at the Purkinje light reflexes. It's a little bit, to me, patient's not. needs to either tilt the chin up or, or you got to fixate the eye a little bit differently. Here is using a crescent blade to create this incision. As you know, in MSICS, the trick in the whole surgery is that incision where the internal opening is a little bit wider than the external, so it's kind of trapezoid-shaped, and also to have a nice, appropriately long tunnel length. So there's the tunnel length. That looks great. Now, entering the eye with the keratome, make sure at the end of that incision and widen it up. Now, it's going to be a lot harder to control the rectus with such a huge incision. So you may want to next time just make the entry point with the keratome, then make the rexus, then go back and enlarge it. But here you go, starting the rexus here. Watch carefully what's going to happen. Look, look, look. There it is. Okay, so far so good, correct? Try and grab it again. And now what? Now it's already out. It's already out. It's already ran out to the zyme support. It's going to make it very difficult to continue. So what do you want to do now? Think about it. What should you have done? We should have done a needle decompression, right? We should have done a double rexus technique. At least that's my opinion. Obviously, there are many ways of doing this surgery. You can do your own way, but I would have liked that. So now try grab the capsule. Can you rescue it? Go the other way. Maybe perform that little maneuver. Trying. More viscoelastic always helps. Uh, there are the scissors. So using the scissors to cut the capsule now. And now we can continue. But remember, you have that one area of weakness now. Now, fortunately for this patient, the patient will do fine regardless of that. But now look at the rexus too. It's a little bit irregular there. So luckily, it's still sufficiently large to get the nucleus out. And so here's some hydrodissection. Doesn't look like a, a very dense nucleus, so that's also a good sign. Get that nucleus here above the iris. A little more viscoelastic underneath it to protect the capsule. And then here you can bring it outside the eye. So again, pretty soft nucleus. I would prefer to use a phaco probe for this type of nucleus. And now the case can be finished. So there's the Simcoe cannula going into the main incision. Obviously, it leaks a lot. You're going to need to go through that paracentesis as well to clean up. And this patient will be very happy. A very nice technique here, and the patient's going to have much better vision. But we need better than that. We need to have that intact rexus. We like that. We want to give patients the very, very best. And you don't want to have this run-out rexus for your cases. So you can prevent this. We've shown you now two days in a row of these run-out rexus cases. And again, both times could have been prevented by using one of the techniques that we've been teaching you. you got to learn the techniques here, right? Cataractcoach.com. Go to the website. Go to the white cataract session. There's a whole bunch of videos, including how to do all these techniques, how to rescue this, how to prevent getting into this situation. Now, the rest of the case here is going to be just fine. The lens is going to go in the capture bag, and you can have a very nice outcome here. Let's see how the lens is going to be implanted. It's going to be hydro-implanted or visco-implanted. I'd be cautious about being too aggressive with the cortex removal in the area where the capsule rexus ran out. If you inadvertently grab the capsule and put traction on it with the vacuum, you can cause it to zip all the way to the back, and then everyone will be a lot sadder. So oh, here's the viscoelastic, probably HPMC, hydroxypropyl methylcellulose. Here comes the lens. Looks like a single-piece PMA lens, and that can go inside the capsule bag. There's a leading haptic again, and then that can be dialed in appropriately and that looks pretty good. Make sure that trailing arm is fully dialed in, though. Yep, there it is, under the rexus. And I like how the haptics are positioned away from the area of the zyme run out. In fact, I rotated a little bit more than you have right there. But good case, a lot of learning. Please, you got to learn about how to deal with white cataracts and achieve a good rexus for these cases. You really can learn this, and you go to Cataract Coach, and that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.